And this is my fifth video. It says Warcraft movie edit, but I want to say it was kind of the only one that mattered. Um, it ended up being how it was in um, copyright issues and all the songs. Is there anybody in there? This is a, that's a little bit of a cool thing that people don't always really think about. Um, when it goes down to cooldown, stun, time management, and all that, sometimes it does uh, end up being trading blows like that. You can actually make it really bad for them because they'll use a line or whatever. You so, you so kill them. Doesn't really get mentioned enough, I want to say. The lag was pretty bad because it was a. Uh, this is all Phoenix footage. Uh, getting to your pizza room. We were all like. From the Americas, it was just like 150 MS to, to like 250 sometimes. This is some pretty interesting footage because of. Uh, essentially, it's a lot like uh, 60 Twinkie, they call it, or whatever. Having a deck level 60 character in a Burning Crusade uh, patch, which is what this was. Pretty interesting. Wrath happened too. Same with level 60 during Wrath expansion. Level 70, you need either one. I do remember the, uh, yeah, Oz solutions are really cool. Say Strike is awesome. You really should have kept that. Probably increase the cooldown for like 10 seconds uh, during actual classic. You said just remember the alpha beta. I remember the, uh, when Lost Ray made it, it was being pretty bad for him. It was, uh, right around a 70%. Uh, Win rate for me, but given the gear and the uh, the uh, situation, like you know, AC talents level 60, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Um, I remember him having T3, uh, wearing T3, and yeah, he did too much damage. I would have had to have a different set of gear, uh, probably more stable or something like that to help him uh, if he's wearing T3. have a lot of uh, other than the outro the outro which is one of the reasons originally why it was a copyright issue there was a YouTube and a movies version um, that's a story that have let's know uh, or next it's just people picked a lot of uh, guitar songs and like guitar moments guitar songs solos and like really fit well especially because it's such a creative style I was coming, so I just figured it out. I try and do the turn, turn away from the gouge, but especially with lag and all that, it's pretty uh, hard to actually do. That was actually a trick to uh, seal twist me with the uh, seal crusader after a proc. Get extra damage on the seal command. Could have wasted a uh, mana right there, but I think he was expecting me to go through. He faked me out with a grenade. Doesn't land it though. Big yeah, Cassidy. We had a lot of good duels. We had a lot of good duels. Like all of that gear because of the uh, BC uh, patches, difference, and all that. Um, before that, it was just a ring tech gear, but obviously, I had to bring more team weapons, gear, all that stuff. Which I was not. That's just a nice combo right there, but I messed up a little bit part right there at the end. And catch them. Is that through vanish? You had a lot of pressure sometimes. It's hard to do. And that's, I want to say, the other yeah, spell goggles help uh, with spell hit, so hammer justice. 
Because instead of vanish, the game didn't do it. She chickened. It is always nice to catch someone in a chicken and then hammer just to some or something like that, but you can, ropes can move. It's not a lot in this uh, PC version. I was me trying to do the, the turnaround couch, but I was just like, okay. Got him with the net. My, uh, my control to front face him here and get more blocks and all that, and avoid just giving free back damage, could be a little bit better. He has been locked up pretty good, but you can tell by the forbearance and all that it's not necessarily an open for him unless he decides to go for a hand push crit right or something like that. He opts for it and almost gets him. Got him. Barely. Right there it would look better if I didn't walk. Um, a little bit of Hollywood style, but it would look better, I'd say, if I had just stood still and finished the hammer for him. Did a one or something. But I want to say it's DR, yeah, so it's not too, too bad. Is this where you sap? I know it would do it sometimes, but I'm not sure what do right here. Sapper and Divine Shield is so good. Yeah, caught him. I, I would say in this, in, in hindsight, I should have opted just for the uh, Silk Command Judgment thing, which I didn't. Didn't make the most sense. That, that is what I was doing. Catch him, bro. Shout out to him. I think I like the extra burst window. The threat in well, Wolf Pursuit of Strip makes it a lot easier to, to upkeep to on a judgment of the Pursuiter. It does increase your uh, burst when it's not used to, so there's always issues with keeping it up or some class of Pursuit of Strip to where the uh, 225 set, but uh, it increases your burst window. So if a rogue or a player knows that they can survive a, a stun lock, uh, it's just as into a stun it lets it 50% health. Burst windows of Judgment of the Crusader is you can you can kill them more than 50%, maybe 60%, maybe 70%, depending on your gear and other stuff. So there's that. Distance on 
could have moved closer one. I don't exactly like that spot. So I, I chose um, Dirty Bitch and Sleepy Crab. That's something you notice in people too. A lot of time, a lot of the ones are very small. Just by using the closer one. So it's your is a better one. It was pretty dead that last one because I still had the uh, tree cut up, which I saved because I figured I could I could beat it without a prediction. Like that. Not ready. It's me, I'm a sapper right now. It's a nice sapper. Just copy that too. The store was nice. I wish I had a higher proc rate. That's just me trying to gouge uh, prevent so I can um, so I can actually uh, land that hodge on good test if you need to run. That's really good. Finish. Grenade finishers to hit combos are great, especially because you can fall out with a hammer and uh, rest and all that. One thing you tend to notice in a lot of my hodge combos and all that, uh, which I would say most of the time is how you want to do it. Not every time because it is a little bit predictable. Though you can vary the uh, time that you do it. Is, um, you do it when you have your auto attack ready. And that's a little bit of a neat way bait switch too because you can always delay your auto attack and try to hit a rogue advantage. And then you can sort of double layer it. So hodge, um, auto attack, judgment, and then you have three things trying to hit out of it. So just like, uh, usually what I offer is damage. So have your auto attack, swing ready, you hodge, and then you can get two hodges instead of one with the uh, stun. And if you have a hit rating, you're not going to miss, so you have two guaranteed autos with the damage. Which is how you optimize for that time. How you optimize for the hodge combos when you kind of take the needs. You ever got good stuff. I want to say I was really trying to hit him out of the finish or something like that with it. I want to save that card. And that's the yard. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not sure if I noticed that he missed it or not. I'm pretty sure he did the kick. Okay. So I just bopped. There's a lot of, there's a whole lot of max range, minimum range um, combat flags that you can buy for when it comes to rope duels. Warrior duels too, but rope duels more so. It's kind of me squirting him out. You can't just get a super free you know, path to be follow me. I want to say in this one, this is the time that he comes close, but then he ends up uh, killing me again. Or is a clip that was kind of similar to this? Uh, I don't get the same thing as people say. That's another trick you can use in Rogue. You have to watch out for his power to or anything in player. The Rogue can always uh, leave gaps in between their combos and like gouge them set or whatever. Maybe you hodge them and then you waste the hammer justice because they'll trade a, a gouge for hammer justice usually and then you don't have any damage on that and then that makes you kidney on the one. Kind of a piece of shit here on the top of the 
the mob would have you if it goes to that that pretty unseen. Did like his emotes. She death.
had him expecting an history and all that, but just now. I think he tried to pick me on all that and it worked out to It's not really the worst thing to, to do on chill right there either way. But yeah. I do like that trait. He doesn't just get a full one for each cheap shot on me, but still is learning the common points unfortunately. Wait for the GCD on Shadow Step, get him. been out of range if he didn't die. Could have been very dead. I think we tested that out because it depended a lot on the server. But, uh, if you try and shadow step, uh, I do like to using a bot one. Depending on the server you're on and all that, uh, you can't shout a step a divine shield target you can use right now, so uh, you would just fall into eyes and times when you trade. But I think the whole shot was we tested out. That was a nice judge to look right Risky attempt because I think that he would have dispelled Skull soon, but he didn't. And he just Skull. I just forgot you had to do a lot of tools. Oh, if I vanish that? Oh. That would have been pretty good. Yeah. To do a lot of tools. It's hard to keep track of everything in the tools. I do like that outro. Jumps into the Consecrate, yeah. Try to hit him outside of the uh, Consecrate with the Repentance, but he ended up jumping into it. Safe. 